welcome to the Aces. Seven years ago, we were introduced to the menace Letterface in Texas Chainsaw Massacre. And right now, we are one year away from the masterpiece that is Holton, guys. The year is 1983, and we are watching The Fun House. <laughs> All of them directed by the same director, Toby Hooper, the amazing legend himself. I had never heard of this movie before. Neither have I, and boy do I regret that. Regret not hearing about it no, until now? No, regret hearing about it. <laughs> so, okay. it's safe to say that you did not enjoy this movie. Yes. I liked it. What the fuck? I liked it. For what it is. Let, let's... Let's just do what we normally do. Like we, we kind of like skim through the movie and we stop at points of interest, which are usually the stupid parts mm -hmm. or the funny parts, sometimes the good parts, but most of the movies we do reviews, reviews on are not the best. No. But this one is pretty decent. But I'm gonna say though, the intro Fucking weird. Mm. So, the intro is, of course, we are introduced to boobs. Fine, it's the 80s. There was plenty of boobs in the 80s. And they had to show them off. But see, that, and I'm gonna say that again. This is why certain genres are my favorite. Because I'm so sick and tired of boobs and sex. It's, that's yes. why I'm a huge, huge fan of the paranormal genre. Like, demonics too, yes, demons, depending on, on the movie itself. Mm -hmm. uh, much like Night of the Demons, yeah, sure, they still show it, but it... Can I just... Can I just point out a little, like, math equation to you? Okay. So, in the fun house, we see one set of boobs two times and two set of boobs with their nipples covered. In Night of the Demons, we see three different set of boobs, three different sets of ass and vagina. Just, that's the math. No, Don't that's why I said, like, that's why I said, like, I like that movie, yes, but... to a certain extent, because I'm more of a fan of the paranormal. Yes, but this one, we gotta be fair, didn't have a lot of boobs. It started with boobs, and it shows us some boobs again later. Didn't really have that many boobs. Yeah, and then two horny couples. Yeah, and we're gonna... Yes, yeah, 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 but like... Who's, who wasn't horny back in the 80s? Ah! You do, you do realize that we were both born in the 80s, so... Yeah, but... We should be glad that some people were horny. <laughs> oh my god! I don't want to think I about- I don't either! Get that, get that thought out of my head! You <laughs> Back to Back. the movie! Yeah, so the, the, the beginning of the movie, yes. super weird because mm -hmm. yes, we do see like a point of view of someone in her room while she's taking a shower and you kind of like find it, I didn't see it that coming but you know this is just a prank or something yeah but i did not expect it to be her creepy ass pervert of a brother i didn't know well okay to be honest i did not know it was going to be a prank but the simple fact that it was her perverted brother who who throughout the movie for some reason made it seem like he had an obsession with his own sister was the fucking weirdest thing ever yeah i i pulled many pranks on my sister Never in the shower. No. Never in the shower. My uh, the friend the... back in the days, he saw his mother in the shower once, and we bullied the hell out of him for an entire, like, decade. So, the boy had nothing to do with the movie, though. The entire movie. Yeah, that, that is a really good point, 
because when the movie is over, because he is like present through the whole movie, he has nothing. And like we could joke that like he has nothing to do with it. He has nothing, nothing. to do with the movie. He was in like ninety percent of the movie. He was. He was always there, but it didn't turn out to be anything. Like if if he, if they just removed him. It yeah, yeah, matter. it was. Yeah, no, it, it's Indiana Jones. It's Indiana Jones. Remove him. Still, the same thing would happen. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The and the the beginning super weird. And I'm gonna say this is a slow movie, because when they like uh, decide to go to the amusement park, mm -hmm. it, it, I feel like it's like thirty minutes of just them taking different rides. Yes. And encountering dumb stuff, especially the the sign that says "girls, girls, girls," and then they like go to the back of the tent to yeah. peek, and you see like nasty old half naked la ladies, and mm. their asses were. Ugh. Amusement parks were different back in the eighties. Yeah. I can't remember. Seeing I that. don't remember seeing that either. I don't think that was really realistic how they were back then. I think this one kind of over You would be surprised. It. The 80s. Wow. Why, why are you trying to ruin the, year, the, the time we were born? I'm just saying the 80s was a crazy time. Well, and here we don't, are. Don't, here don't, we are. But we're not. Anyway, yeah. We are crazy. Yeah, good point. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so the, then, like, as I say, like, they have a girls, girls, girls section. Mm -hmm. And the girls come out and, like, shake their titties with, like, those nipple clamps on or whatever. Yeah. What do you call them? <laughs> Maybe not nipple clamps. That's where uh nipple covers yeah. i'm gonna say when i saw that i'm not sure if i like boobs anymore <laughs> that was icky <laughs> that was kind of funny i'm gonna also say like um because speaking of the kid he he sneaks out and then he um, starts like walking uh, along the highway yeah. and then the car stops and, th and 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 then I was like, okay, this, is this gonna be like some weirdo creep? He was a weirdo creep, but he, he just was. pointed a gun, like a rifle, at him yeah. and laughed. And then I'm gonna also say, humor was different back in the 80s. Yes. Because that is weird. It was. Weird. It could have. It could have been worse. It could have that's been true, worse. That's true. That's true. So he was. I'm gonna say in this situation, he was probably like a decent guy because he just pranked this. And maybe he wanted to scare the kid to run back home. I'm gonna say that guy was a uh, nice guy. Back to the amusement park. That lasts forever until they decide to to Finally spend a night go in the, the fun house. house. Yes. Yeah. And then, so th this is a weird movie because it's not the movie you would expect no. because it doesn't. It doesn't even have, I'd say, any gore at all. It's not a gory movie. It's not a slasher movie per se. And it doesn't have any sex. And it has one set of boobs times two. So back to the fun house. There we see uh, the monster. I'm gonna say like for the 80s, <sighs> it was a decent monster design. Uh, yeah, it really was a decent so? monster design. I thought it was ugly as I think that was the point. It's not decent. It's ugly as fuck. And what annoyed me, oh, I had to keep looking away. Was his drooling. Yeah. I <laughs> knew we were going to say the drooling. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's fucking gross. I don't mind it. It's okay. But like, monster design, okay. And this movie is kind of like, I feel the monster was misunderstood. He was actually maybe a good guy. Misunderstood? This boy, or monster man, freaking was a horny oh, bastard. Oh, he paid for sex. Yeah, but did you not hear the dad say um, yeah, he what he did to some the other girls? Before. No, the other girls. He mentioned specifically girls. Okay, so, so he's, I'm pretty sure what he did he was likes he girls. like rape them. He killed them. You don't know that, but still, the, they made it seem like this monster was it. Ow! 
they said that people he had killed people before. Yeah. And the dad said the, that he, he knows what he did to the girls, the last girls. Yeah. Yeah. We don't know that for sure. They said that in the beginning. So he is then the villain. Or maybe the dad is the villain because he's also a douchebag. True, because he asked uh, his son to do it one last time. Yeah. yeah, but that's because they had discovered the son, like the monster, so they yeah. had to die. That scene, can I say, was so freaking disturbing. What? Which scene? When he paid that old lady to do him. Yeah, I felt bad for him though in that situation. Here, I felt sorry for him. I did not. He came so fast. <laughs> I'm gonna give props to the character of Bus, though. That's the the, the big, uh, you call him the big guy. Oh, yeah. yeah. Because he was actually pretty decently irrational and smart during this movie. Because yes. every time there was a situation where there was like a fight or something happened, and he always picked up the weapon afterwards. He always picked up all the weapons. And he yelled at Richie for stealing the money, which was... And he said it was basically his fault that that happened. So that yeah. was... That's something smart to say. Because yeah. I would have fucking said the same goddamn thing. Yeah. So this guy acted, like you said, rationally. Yeah, made to a certain right. point. Because yeah. he did a really big boo-boo at the end. Okay, yeah. The but until that point, I'd say... Good character. Because yeah. he... like. When I saw, like, uh, they dropped the knife and he dropped mm. the gun, and I'm like, I would pick that up. And he picked it up. And I was so surprised because that never happens in movies anymore. <laughs> no, no. So, uh, and uh, this is also around the time where, like, once again, back to the boy in this one, the little brother, because he gets kind of like kidnapped in the carnival by some dude. And yeah. uh, that dude has apparently called their parents, uh, his parents. And they come to to get him like but that dude he was acting suspicious he kind of seemed creepy yeah i'm not gonna say it no, but no. can you guess how many times press can say something inappropriate before me react let's get going i'm pretty sure that boy is gonna go back to wearing diapers for a while so. he's gonna wake up with a salty taste he in his was mouth. awake when the dad carried him to the car yeah. And the only thing he could think of was... It's gonna burn when he takes a shit. <laughs> Other than that, nothing much happens in this movie. It's basically as soon as they discover the monster. It's all about the monster chasing them. Kind of like killing them one by one. And I'm gonna say though, after Bus dies, which is the last character that dies. Yeah. I'd say turn off the movie. Because at that point, first of all, the editing was so weird, I it was dizzy. I was so dizzy, I was spinning. And also, when he dies, it's only Amy left. Mm -hmm. And after he dies, it's, I swear to God, probably 15 minutes of her running and screaming from the monster. And then hiding. And it's funny when she hides because she just goes basically in a little tiny circle and then the monster pops up right behind her and it was the funniest shit ever. Yeah, it was. It was and so annoying. stupid. Yeah, it took but, so long for her to crawl from yeah, one end to the other end. Yeah, the, the ending <sighs> was dragging so much and I'm gonna... Spoiler alert! She escapes and she Survive. goes around the circus and it ends. And the monster dies. Yeah, so I, I'd say after Bus dies, the movie is... I'd say just... Just stop there. It's fine. You don't miss anything because the ending is so fucking annoying. Yeah, it is. It is really freaking annoying. <laughs> but as a movie, I think it was pretty decent. And once again, like, this is uh, Toby Hooper that uh, directed this. Who the fuck is Toby Hooper? I said it. It's the guy that directed the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. And he also directed Poltergeist. Wait, the... Old Poltergeist? The original? The original Poltergeist. Just never pay attention. <laughs> ah! I didn't know that. Well, he did. I told it in the beginning! 
Why did you listen to that part? I'm sorry. <laughs> you didn't listen to that part, right? Everything else you listened to. <laughs> I call bullcrap. But yeah, I'm gonna say decent movie. I would uh, recommend it for those who don't like boobs. I didn't like the movie not one bit because I thought it was stupid from beginning to end. The way it dragged the the unnecessary old lady butt and boobs. <laughs> it was really nasty to see the little tiny asses like squeeze those really tight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But it was just stupid. The monster was gross. I hate the drooling. I cannot stand monsters that drool. And there was this. I mean, uh, the monster did not look like a deformed monster because it looked like something from the swamp. My lord. He looks kind of greenish. He was white! Well, he fucking looked greenish to me. <laughs> but his constant drooling was the nastiest shit ever. And I didn't know what it me. Okay. Well, the conclusion then is that this movie is not for everyone. It's a slow movie. It's not the typical horror gore fest that you would expect from the 80s. But if you want a slow paced movie with sort of interesting characters and uh, a story to it, which is not interrupted by a lot of boobs and sex, then this is the movie for you. So. I would recommend this movie for half of the population on this planet. <laughs> yeah. Half. Yeah. What he said. I would give this movie uh, a six and a half out of ten. I would give this movie a solid three out of ten. Right. Well, there we have it. Then it's up to you to decide if you want to watch it or not. Yes. But that's all we had to say. And until next time, groove it. You just see what I had to go through to get your number. What? I washed him up real good. What the fuck?